following videos are case studies of successful YouTubers. I've shot one video for each of these YouTubers. And if you watch all these case studies, you'll find that no matter how different these channels are from each other, no matter how different the style or the niche is, they all have one thing in common. So I hope that you learn from these case studies and I wish you the best of luck in your YouTube journey. I'll see you in the next video. This particular case study is about Neil Patel who's a very successful digital marketer and is worth millions of dollars. Forbes says that he's one of the top 10 marketers and Entrepreneur Magazine says he created one of the 100 most brilliant companies. Okay, he was also recognized as a top 100 entrepreneur under the age of 30 and also a top 100 entrepreneur under the age of 35. Now, some people may be thinking, well, he's already a successful and popular digital marketer with a large audience, so it shouldn't be that hard for him to have a successful YouTube channel. However, there are many other successful marketers who have large audiences as well whose YouTube channels haven't yet taken off. Neil Patel, according to him, within his first year of starting a YouTube channel, he was able to get over 100,000 subscribers and to date, he has over 298,000 subscribers. So what are Neil Patel's keys to success on YouTube? Well, his keys to success are very similar to other successful YouTubers. And one of the main things that I see that, that's very common amongst successful YouTubers is consistency. Okay, he tries to shoot for three videos per week. Now, if you don't have time for three videos per week, try just going for one video per week. Okay, so he shoots three videos per week. And according to him, that's how he gets over 9,000 subscribers per month organically. He also tries to optimize his videos. And ideally, he makes them over five minutes long because YouTube prefers videos that are at least over five minutes long. And of course, have a good title and thumbnail. Um, a lot of people already know that if you want to be, have a successful YouTube channel and you want to attract clicks, you have to have an attractive thumbnail that will get attention and also a good title. Now, when optimizing your videos, you also have to see what keywords your competitors are using. So you have to search for keywords in your niche on YouTube so you can see what your competitors are doing. Another thing that he likes to do is transcribe his videos. He uses a service called Rev.com and they subscribe to videos for pennies on the dollar. This is a case study of the Minority Mindset YouTube channel. And these YouTubers try to teach people how to think differently about money and their target audience are aspiring entrepreneurs and basically anybody that wants to get out of the nine to five rat race. They currently have over 429,000 subscribers, but it took over a year for YouTube to finally start noticing them. After about a year and a few months, they were able to grow the subscribers to over 30,000. But what's amazing is that about a month after that, they were able to grow to 100,000 subscribers. So basically, they went from 30 to 100. So 30,000 to 100,000 subscribers in about a month. And it's been snowballing ever since. So what's their secret? Well, according to them, there is no secret formula. You just have to stick with it. According to them, if you want to be a successful YouTuber, you have to consistently create interesting videos that viewers, friends will want to share every week. And try to make your videos better every week as well. When they got serious about this YouTube channel, they started putting up at least two videos per week consistently. When you watch their videos, you know what their channel is about. And that's one piece of advice that they'll share with you is that you have to let people know what your channel is about. Don't make videos on dog training and then have one about health. It has to have a consistent theme. And once you find your niche, 
you have to be unique and give people a reason to watch you instead of the hundreds of other YouTubers. You can also copy other YouTubers content but add your own spice and style to it. And one of the fastest ways to grow your channel is through collaborations. The first time they grew by 1,000 subscribers in one day was when they first did a col collaboration. Before that, their biggest day was 150 subscribers. Now in terms of optimizing your videos, they don't recommend having a transcript of your videos. There's another YouTuber that I did a case study of and he actually prefers to have a transcript and according to him, it helps his rankings. But according to these these guys, um, you know, this used to be a popular method, but now this hurts people rankings according to them. So what I recommend to you is, you know, to experiment on your own and see what works for you because what works for others may not work for you. Other little things they did was sharing their videos on social media and also having a great thumbnail and title that makes people want to click on your videos. They say that thumbnails with faces do the best, so if you'll notice, all of their thumbnails have their faces on it. And also according to them, titles that do well are lists and questions. For example, five steps to getting six pack abs. And they do focus on quality. After all, content is king. And lastly, I have a schedule so that people know when to expect your videos. This is a case study of the YouTube channel Infinite Waters, Diving Deep. And this YouTuber, his name is Ralph Smart. He's a very charismatic individual. And the subjects that he talks about are almost anything related to uh, new age, um, health, spirituality, and self-help. And there's probably other topics that I didn't mention. But you could go ahead, visit Infinite Waters, check out all his videos. Now, I'm assuming that because of YouTube, He's been able to successfully branch into other areas and earn other income streams outside of YouTube. He's been able to write books, um, he sells his own merchandise, and he does public speaking all around the world. Now, although he is a charismatic individual, that alone does not determine your success on YouTube. So let's go ahead and take a look at his keys to success. Now, let's get the obvious thing out of the way, is that he is consistent. If you've watched other case studies already, by now you should know that one thing or one trait that they all have is that they're all consistent in making videos. In terms of the videos that he makes, you know, he advises people to create videos that get people out of their chairs. Does your content move your audience? The way he looks at it is don't play it safe. You always have to try to push the boundaries. You might even have to make a controversial video to go viral. And he points out that the video that you're scared the most of making is usually the one that's going to change your life. Because it's those videos that are pushing the boundaries. You also have to be vulnerable so that you can connect with your audience and dare to be different. And it goes without saying that you should be yourself. You want your audience to like you for who you are. And if you watch his videos, you can tell that he enjoys what he's doing. So if you're gonna go down this route, you have to enjoy what you're doing when you're making YouTube videos because there are days, weeks, and months where you're not gonna be making much money and you're gonna be facing obstacles. And in order for you to be able to get through all that, you have to enjoy the whole process. Another tip from Ralph is to invest your money. He's invested well over $20,000 in equipment. And lastly, collaboration he's collaborated with a lot of people early on and that's how his subscribers grew because he was crossing audiences this is a case study for the YouTube channel engineered truth and this youtuber started out making videos that gave advice on how to get jobs now his channel also focuses on entrepreneurship and how to start your own online business and I think the reason for this is that starting an online business is his passion and I believe he currently has three online businesses at the moment and now that he's succeeded at earning a full-time income from YouTube he's in a good position to teach people 
how to also succeed online. So what are his keys to success? I think one of the keys to success is his consistency. Again, if you've been following any of these case studies, you'll see that these successful YouTubers are successful because they are consistent at making videos. And what's interesting about this guy is that he was only putting up one video per week for four years and he ended up succeeding. So don't worry about having to make two, three, or, or even five videos a week. If you, if you are limited in time, just try to go for one video per week. As you can see here, he currently has over 372,000 subscribers. Now, when he had around 150,000 subscribers, according to him, he was making around $10,000 per month. Although I know of YouTubers with that many subscribers who make far less. So it's quite possible that he has diversified income streams. For example, he could be doing affiliate marketing. It also depends on how targeted your niche is. I've heard that the more targeted your niche is, the more you'll make from your Google AdSense ads, or basically the ads that are on your YouTube videos. But again, it all comes down to how you structured your business and how you've monetized your channel. There are several ways to monetize your YouTube channel. For example, you could earn income through affiliate marketing, through sponsorships and brand deals, and you could also just open up a Patreon account and ask your subscribers to support you by donating to you either month on a monthly basis or for whenever you have a new video that comes out. I believe when you open a Patreon account, uh, you could set it up so that you get paid every time you uh, release a video or on a monthly basis. Now let me end this video by just repeating something that he said in the past and that is your income seems to grow exponentially if you do it right on YouTube. But the growth pattern is that it'll usually become stagnant and then jump and then it will become stagnant again and then jump and it'll just repeat this. It'll become stagnant and jump, become stagnant and jump. So I'm just letting you know this so you, that you know what to expect when you have uh, your own YouTube channel is that you will experience big jumps in your business and then for some reason it'll go flat for a while and then again you'll experience another jump, etc. This is a case study for the YouTube channel Love Live Serve and they currently have over 4 million subscribers and this is a, a duo of two YouTubers and they consider themselves or they consider this channel a, a creative entertainment channel and they make a wide variety of videos ranging from skits to pranks. Now although they have a very successful channel today, originally they did not have a plan. They were just creating videos for fun. And it was when they got to around 10,000 views for one video that they started taking it more seriously and focusing on making videos that most people can relate to. And because of their momentum, once they got to 50,000 subscribers, they got to 100,000 subscribers in a couple of days because of this momentum. And although this channel seems like it's all about fun they've put in a lot of hard work they made videos that they spent a lot of time on and got very little views which is typical for most youtubers you'll find that when you're making videos you'll make a video you'll put a lot of time into it and you'll th you'll think that it's going to go viral and the exact opposite happens and it just flops and that's just the way it goes and vice versa it also happens when you make a video that you don't think is going to go well and it ends up going viral and getting a lot of views. So YouTube is like a roller coaster. It goes up and down. Now aside from the hard work that these two guys put into the channel, they also used strategy. They took advantage of trends to eventually get up to over a million subscribers and today 4 million subscribers. It actually took them about two years of posting videos every week to get to a million subscribers and according to them they did not take one week off so if you also want to get to a million subscribers according to them it's simple but it's hard work you're gonna have to go through trial and error 
and you're gonna have to make a lot of terrible videos in the beginning to figure out what you're good at but the key is for you to just focus on making a lot of videos lastly don't give up or slow down when you don't see any momentum and don't get discouraged this is something I like to tell most people when they're getting started on YouTube is that you're gonna face a lot of obstacles and days where you're not getting any momentum and I just tell people do not get discouraged almost every youtuber that I've done a case study on I've noticed that it took them a while to finally get noticed by YouTube and it just took persistence for them to eventually succeed on YouTube if you watched all these case studies you'll notice that all these successful youtubers did things in their own unique ways and you may have even noticed that these case studies sometimes contradicted each other. So for example, uh, there was one YouTuber, uh, Neil Patel, who transcribes his videos and puts it in the description for SEO purposes. But another YouTuber that I did a case study on, Minority Mindset, they actually oppose, they don't transcribe their videos and believe that it actually hurts their rankings. But the one thing that all these YouTubers, all these successful YouTubers have in common is consistency and also persistence. It took some of them at least a year to eventually start gaining momentum. So if there's one thing you're gonna take from these case studies, it's that you have to maintain your consistency. Try to post at least one video per week. And again, do not give up. You really have to enjoy the process of making these videos and posting them onto YouTube and also look at the benefits in the long run.